This is Dr. J. Morgan from EC Department, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Today we are going to discuss about closed completed set orthogonal and orthogonal in the complex set function and some example of signal and system cases we should study. Last class we studied for the signal analysis. There we studied for the vectors, signals and uh, error function, orthogonality in the signal, those things we studied. We continue for those class now. Today the presentation is closed completed set orthogonal, orthogonality in the complex function, relation between the basic signals and uh, example problem in the signals. Now we go for the closed and completed set of orthogonal function. So last class we studied for the vectors. That vector what we are going to study, we taken for the two vector. One is represented as a V1, another one is represented as a V2 vector. Like that we studied. So the V1 vector it is going to have for the some angle of instant. Then V1 of vector we said. Then this is represented as a V2 of vector. So this vector, what will be happen? The dark line, what we mention, that is called for the vector. Then dotted line is represented as a magnitude value. That value is represented as a C12 of V2 we represent. So the finally we represent for the V1 is equal to C12 V2 into VE. That is plus of V represent that is V is represents a vector error of two signal then C12 V2 is represented as a magnitude value now the vector V1 consists of C12 V2 plus VE V studied now this is only two vectors are present in the plane suppose if you have the multiple vector that is represented as a V1, V2, V3, V4. So many vectors are present for the, the field. So we consider as this portion is one field. So it is going to consider if it present, then what we do? Then it will be going to happen for the so many magnitude value of the signal. So based on the so many value of magnitude signal, that is many value of magnitude signal, it is not predicted for the proper, uh, proper as a orthogonal together. So, if orthogonal in the sense V1 and V2, it is going to parallelly move toward the forward direction or reverse direction. So, those case we need to identify for through the orthogonality function. If we need to identify for the orthogonality function, we should take for the different type of signal from V1 itself. V1 vector, we consider as say X1 of T and X2 of T. So, many signal we are going to divide it up to X n of T we make to divide it. Due to that case, we consider as a n is a mutual, n is represented as a mutual orthogonal function. Thus, that mutual orthogonal function consists of x1 of t and x2 of t x up to xn of t over the interval of some duration. The duration present by the t1 and t2. So, that is t1 less than of t less than of t2 we take. So, we take for the some duration of interval in this between have the multiple number of inputs are present that is x1 of t, x2 of t, xn of t. Those signal it will be represented as a mutually orthogonal. That, that case is called closed and completed set when there exceed no function f of t satisfied the condition. Now the that condition exist satisfied the condition is represented as a t1 and t2 that is integration of t1 and t2 f1 of t f2 of f2 2 of t dt value is equal to 0. Now we take for the two interval those function we call for the f1 of t and f2 of t. This make to integration value depends upon the t that value is equal to 0. Then f of t is said to be orthogonal to each and every function of orthogonal set. This is incompleted without f of t. It become close and completed set of f of t is included. Then orthogonal set can be added by the components 
along mutually orthogonal signal then that the case f of t is equal to c1 x1 of t plus c2 x2 of t up to v divided by the x of t as a x of n case here so then the final value c n of x x n of t then we added for the error value that is f e of t this error we call for the orthogonal mutual error so finally we concluded that closed and complete set of orthogonal function has f of t equal to c1 x1 of t plus c2 x2 of t plus then dot dot plus c of n x n of t plus the error value what the error value based on the function that the function is represented as a complete set of f of t function that is called for the f e of t then infinite series we represent for the closed complete set of orthogonal as c1 x1 of t c2 x2 of t up to c n x n of t coverage to the f of t then the mean square error value equal to zero the mean square error value is zero then the system signal or system vector is represented as a closed complete orthogonal set uh, next case we go for the orthogonality in the complex function so now we take for the two different function that is called for the f1 of t and f2 of t in the signal so take for the x of t this x of t is going to divide it by the so many part that's x1 of t up to x n of t we may divide it this part we consider any one of the case as a f1 of t as well as of another case we represent as a f2 of t that is called for the functionality if make to take for the functionality in the condition that is consist of vector as well as of magnet also is going to present in the system then those the case we consider with the orthogonality case orthogonality condition then f1 of t and f2 of t are the two complex function that f1 of t can be expressed in terms of f2 of t then we write as a f1 of t is equal to c1 to f2 of t so now you take for the uh, time different between the two signal is t1 and t2 we taken this t1 and t2 how it will be going to happen t1 less than of t less than of t2 then what is the value of the signal representation we represent for the integration of t1 to t2 this value t2 then we write for the f1 of t that means what the f t1 is going to active that will be called for the f0 t into f2 of t based on the dt we may represent then this is represented as a orthogonal function in this orthogonal function we may represent as a f1 of t can be expressed in terms of f2 of t then we write as a f1 of t is represented as f1 of t is equal to c1 to f2 of t with negligible error then it is consist of f e of t also is present this value error equal to f e of t is equal to 0 now the error value is represented as a negligible then we need to find for the c1 to what the c1 to it is represented as a complex set function so that is why uh, the function is represented as a complex set, uh, set function that is why we represent for the c12 that means we write for the integration of minus infinity plus infinity or we represent for the the interval between the t1 and t2 the signal is represented as a t1 and t2 or in minus infinity plus infinity you may write f1 of t then f2 star of t dt because of we taken for the complex values this value is equal to c1 to integration of t1 t2 f t mod square because of here we consider as a f1 of t is equal to f2 of t we may write that means you take for the complex conjugate value of anything then these values are equal in the sense we write it for like this one f generally we write as a f of t so now this condition i write I make to find for the c1 of t that is c1 of t uh, this c c1 of t this c1 of t is equal to then if this this portion is came for this side of divide, division then what will be finally right c1 of t is equal to integration of 
T1, T2. What is the limit? Here we taken the signal limit F1 of T, F2 star of T dt divided by integration of T1, T2, F2 mod square dt we write. Then if F1 of T and F2 of T are the orthogonal, then C1 2 equal to 0. What the output we got? Then output is represented as like this form. So this equation C12 equal to 0. Then we write as 0 here. The, you make to do for the cross multiplication to integration of T12 to T2 F2 mod square dt is equal to 0. Then then finally what we get? This values are represent 0. Then the remaining upper portion only is going to present. Then integration of T1 T2 F2 of T that is this is F2 of T dt star into F1 of T we represent as a 0 then the signal is represented as the orthogonality in the complex function. Next section we go for the some relation between the basic signals. Previously we studied unit step as well as of unit impulse signal. Unit step we called del of t is equal to uh, sorry uh, unit step we represent for the u of t is equal to integration and that will be present by that 1 u of t is equal to 1 when t greater than 0 then t less than 0 we represent 0 then t greater than in the sense is included for the 0 itself that means uh, the signal we represent as a 0 here then up to infinity t is greater than value the value of amplitude is equal to 1 so this is will be continued. this is represents as a u of t u of t is represent as a unit step signal then we take for the unit step signal so what that unit step signal represents as a del of t is equal to 1 when t equal to 0 then 0 t is not equal to 0 that means if we may write for the u del of t this is del of t when 0 then the value is equal to 1 that's it there is no values present for the both minus and to plus and q of t level only this portion 0 portion only is going to present so now we know this is we studied for last uh, section so del of t and u of t is that we need to give for the relation between the del of t and u of t. If we make to take integration with minus into plus into the interval of the t here is minus into here is plus infinity. The del of t the del of t with respect of dt then it is produced for the u of t only. That means after 0 all values are is represented as a 1. If we make to integrate with minus infinity plus infinity this is the first relation the relation between the impulse as well as of unit signal if integrate with the unit impulse it's produced with the output as unit step signal next relation if you received u of t signal then i need for the del of t what i want to this u of t i take it for the d by dt then we get for the del of t so this is another relation between the unit impulse as well as the unit step. So unit impulse and unit step going to have two different kind of relation when what kind of signal we received based on that one we need to change. So if you have del of t then to change for the u of t in the sense take integration of minus and plus with respect of t then we get for the u of t. Now, if we receive for the u of t, then I need for del of t in the sense you can take differentiate with the t of t in the u of t, then we get for the del of t. This is the first relation for unit step as well as of unit impulse signal. Next, ramp signal and the unit step signal. So now I have u of t. I need to generate for the ramp signal. We know ramp signal. R of t is equal to t when t is greater than or equal to 0, 0, otherwise we should write this is represented as a ram signal. Now I take the different integration with u of t unit impulse 
unit step signal i take for the integration with unit step signal insist of dt different insist of dt then i got for the this is t this t is present only t is greater than zero position only then this value we call for the unit ram signal then if we have for the u of t if we we receive for the u of t insist of r of t then take differentiate with t in the r of t we get for the u of t this is a relationship between ram signal and a unit step signal next case we go for the parabolic and ram signal so the parabolic signal is represented as a t r of t r p of t equal to t square by 2 when t is greater than 0 0 otherwise we should write okay so parabolic condition we write as a p of t is equal to t square divided by 2 t is greater than 0 0 otherwise we write this is represented as a parabolic signal now we receive for the u of t we make it to do for the integration with t the interval of minus np plus np in the two time we get for the r of t so first integration already we studied with unit uh, step signal we get for the r of t again we make to do for the one more integration the interval between minus np plus np of r of t with respect to dt then we get for the t square by 2 this value we call as a parabolic signal this is a relationship between the parabolic and as well as of ram signal uh, next case if you have for the x of t that x of t is represented as a parabolic then even though if you take for the two time of differentiation d square x of t divided by dt square in the case of parabolic then we get for the u of t that is unit step signal if you do for the one time differentiation we get for the ram signal so then finally we may represent i represent as a parabolic signal is t square by 2 when t equal to greater than 0 0 t less than of 0 then what will be happen this like a parabolic curve we are receive in this based on the parabolic curve we are finding for the u of t comma r of t so if have any signal or if you receive any kind of signal it's possible to convert for the whatever we need that signal we can convert based on the mathematical expression so here what that unit step and unit impulse signal you take for the one integration of uh, unit impulse then you get for the u of t if you how for the u of t then we need to find for the del of t then take differentiate with the t in the u of t then ram signal uh, we do for the integration of u of t with respect to dt here dt is missing then it is represented as a t we get that value is equal to r of t that is called for the ram signal or if you have the ram signal take the differentiate with t then we get for the u of t next case parabolic signal and a ram signal if you receive for the unit if, unit step signal then you take for the two time of integration in the u of t dt then it's produced for the integration of r of t then finally we get for the parabolic signal as t square by 2 so then suppose if we get parabolic signal as a x of t then you take two time of differentiation then you we get for the u of t then parabolic signal is represented as x of t then take one time differentiation we get for the ram signal then finally we conclude that, that uh, if we receive any kind of signal we can change uh, any type of signal character based on the mathematical expression next case some example problem in the signals now we go for the amplitude scaling what the amplitude scaling is represented as amplitude multiplication that's it now you take for the x of t the amplitude value is equal to 2 for certain limit here we take for the capital letter minus t to capital letter plus t 
after this much. So I need to increase the amplitude value of the signal. Then what I want to do, I can multiply with some constant. So that will be I wrote as a x of t is equal to some constant of what will be going to have what we are receiving that is x of t. Here we change as x of t into y of t. So the this is we consider as output. This is represents the input. If you need for the output of time amplitude scaling, we should multiply with some constant that is called for the real constant in the x of t. x of t is a time, time based signal. This a it may be present by the negative also is possible, positive also possible or it is represented as a um, discrete nature also is possible. Then here for example, now I need to y of t, I multiply with the two time of x of t. So, x of t signal we received, the amplitude is equal to t uh, to in between the t to minus t. Now, this is the case if you take for the minus of t. So, y of t is equal to for the t case 2 x of minus t. 2 time what is there? This x of t is present for the 2 time. This is amplitude is represented as a 2. This amplitude represents as a 2. Then 2 into 2 is represented as a 4 minus t. Here take for the minus of t. Then here is represented as a minus of 4. Next, sorry, t is equal to plus t. Then the value is represented as a 4. If t is equal to minus of 2 or minus side of 2, what be represent here 2? This is minus 2, is represented as a minus 4. Here is represented as a minus 4. That t equal to then x of t when t equal to capital letter t is represented as a plus 4. If t equal to minus t, it is represented as a minus 4. Then we draw for the signal. So remaining portion all is represented as a 0. Then what is that? When the minus t to plus t, the values is represented as a 4. Same like that one, we do for the another scaling case of the signal, what will be going to happen. So see, uh, here y of t, I take y of t is equal to 0 0.5 x of t, I write. The interval is minus t to plus of t. Now, t equal to minus of t, I take y of t is represented as a 0 0.5. Okay, x of minus capital letter T. What is that x of minus capital letter T? The amplitude is equal to 2, 0 0.5 into 2. This value is represented as a here. This amplitude I taken. The amplitude is equal to 2. 2 into 0 0.5 is represented as a 0. Point, sorry, uh, 1.0 we take. So minus T is represented as a 1. Then t equal to capital letter T. Then here is represented as a t to 0 0.5. Again, it is represented as a 0 1.0. Then we represent 0 0.1. Then we may draw for the graph representation. This is represented as a time amplitude scale. Another case is represented as a addition of two signal. Here, addition purpose I take for the x1 of t and x2 of t. The x1 of t graph is representation is like this one. x2 of t is represent like this one. Now we need to add both. Now I need y of t is equal to x of t plus that is x1 of t plus x2 of t. x1 of t plus x2 of t we need to add. So now the limit is present for the x1 of t is started for the minus 3 and it is ended for the plus 3. The amplitude is equal to 1. That is it. But the x2 of t it is started for the time limit is minus 10 to plus 10 if the amplitude value equal to 2. Now we need to add for both. So what will be happen up to 4? See, this is 4. There is no number for from the up to 10 to minus 3. There is no uh, amplitude. So, here 4 and 3. So, up to 3. Okay, up to 4 is 0. Then, it is going to end it with the 3. 
then its represent is 0 then that is equal to the time interval of minus 10 to minus of 3 of this case of addition value is equal to what is that addition value so here is represent as a 2 here is 0 2 plus 0 is represent as a 2 we may write okay then after 3 you have the 2 here have the 1 after 3 that is minus 3 2 plus 3 so x1 value is represent as a 1 that is x1 is represent as a 1 plus x2 values represent as a 2 okay up to where it's represented by the 3 here up to 3 so that value is equal to 1 plus 2 equal to 3 okay here 2 3 then after 3 2 plus 3 2 the time period plus 3 to 10 the x1 of t plus x2 of t what is it? the x1 of t is represented as a 0 then x2 of t is represented as a 0, 2 then this value equal to 2 then i need to write the graph representation what is it the first case of the output y of t is equal to 2 y of t equal to 2 this is going to present by the minus 10 to minus 3 then after it's continue with the 3 1 plus 2 is 3 this is present by the 3 to plus 3 that is here that is a minus 3 to plus 3 then after its represent as a 2 this will be 3 to 10 okay this 3 portion is going to have available this 3 time difference also is going to present then i should write for the graphical representation of this case what will be happen so see here minus 10 to minus 3 the value equal to 2 then minus 3 to plus 3 the value equal to 3 my plus 3 to 10 the value equal to 0 we substituted for that based on the graph then i should try and draw the graph so 10 to minus 3 is represented as a 2 then after 3 to that is minus 3 to plus 3 this limit is represented as a 3 up to 3 then after what is that plus 3 to 10 is represented as a 2 now this is the way we may add for the two signals next is so how we we are going to adding same way we are need to subtract also here i take for the two different signal this is x1 of t this is x2 of t x1 of t amplitude is equal to 1 for that time interval of minus 3 to plus 3 the x2 t the amplitude equal to 2 then time interval of minus 10 to plus 10 now i take but here minus 3 to plus sorry minus 10 minus 3 to minus 7 10 less than of t less than of minus 3 the amplitude value z is equal to x1 of t minus of x2 of t that is x1 of t is equal to 0 minus 2 equal to minus of 2 next the minus 3 here this is a mi minus 3 to plus 3 the minus 3 less than t less than of 3 amplitude of z of t is equal to x1 of t minus of x2 of t as a subtraction case 1 minus of 2 equal to minus 1 next what is the remaining portion is at this plus 3 to 10 my 3 less than t less than of 10 amplitude z of t equal to x1 of t plus x2 of t equal to this is 0 here this portion is 0 and write 0 minus of 2 equal to minus 2 now we need to draw the graph what is that so minus 10 to minus 3 here c minus 10 to minus 3 the amplitude value is equal to minus of 2 see this is minus 2 it will be represented by the minus of 2 next minus 3 of 3 less than t less than of t is minus 1 so the minus 1 value is here then we make to draw the value up to this time limit next after this time limit that value also is represented as a minus of 2 minus of 2 so this is represented as a subtraction of 2 signal so subtraction of 2 signal it consists of subtraction with the amplitude itself it's taking reference of the time interval next case multiplication of 2 signal we need 
it to multiply by the signal cases so we take for the two sample signal that is x1 of t and x2 of t x1 of t amplitude is 1 for time interval of minus 3 to plus t the x2 of t amplitude is equal to 2 the time interval of minus 10 to plus 10 now we need to multiply both so what the multiplication first is going to happen the it will be going to n for x2 is n for the minus 3 uh, then uh, plus 3 then x2 is going to n for the minus 2 as well as a plus that is minus 10 to plus 10 now i take to reference of x2 it's ended for the minus 10 to 3 is going to end it's there is no value in the x1 of t that's why minus 10 t less than of t less than of minus 3 the amplitude z of t is equal to x1 of t plus sorry into is a multiplication into x2 of t then what is that there is no number from the minus 10 to minus 10 3 in the x1 of t that's why I put for the 0 into 2 that value is represented as 0 into 2 equal to 0 then we go for the next case here yeah, minus 3 to plus 3 here how the values minus 3 plus 3 in the x1 of t then z of t is equal to x1 of t into x2 of t the this value 1 this is amplitude is equal to 1 this amplitude equal to 2 1 into 2 is represented as a 2 next case the remaining portion plus 3 to plus 10 that is 0, 3 less than t less than of 10 the amplitude z of t is equal to x1 of t plus into x2 of t 0 into 2 all values are getting to 0 for this portion this portion amplitude is equal to n to this portion amplitude equal to 0 see the minus 3 where the minus 3 here then amplitude is equal to 2 then up to plus 3 the amplitude is equal to 2 the remaining portion is represented as 0 this is a multiplication of two signal next case time shifting so the time shifting is going to happen by the negative as well as a positive time shifting so the negative time shifting is represented as a x t plus of t0 and the negative time shifting is represented as a x t plus of t0 and the positive time shifting is represented as a x of t minus of t0 now this case I take what the image of this one it's represented as a t this is there is minus t plus t some amplitude we take for the one that is a triangular case now you write for the negative shifting what is that negative shifting the shifting is happen for the t plus of t0 is equal to how much is started is represented as a minus t so then I need for the t that is minus t that is represented as a minus t then minus of t0 is going to shift so see here t plus of t0 i will draw here so the first case up here is how the t that this portion is going to shift it for here how much minus of t minus of t0 next it will be where to be going to end t is equal to capital letter t so what we write here t minus of sorry t plus of t0 equal to capital letter t now i need for the t that is t minus of t0 i should write where the t minus t0 it will be going to present for the somewhere here so amplitude is similar then i write for the same signal is going to see for the t minus of t0 minus of t minus of t0 now the origin it's going to this is original origin it's going to shift here to here this is there is no line from here okay this is the way going to do for the active shifting then we go for the fast shifting the fast shifting is represented as a t minus of t0 equal to capital letter t t is equal to t plus of t0 now this is t plus of t0 that is this is the capital letter then this portion what will be happen that is t plus of some amount of t0 that is t okay so this is the way we may do for the time shifting case next time scaling case so we need to scale for the time in the input cases x a 
of the this a is called for the scaling of the input signal now if we make to scale it's going to two type of categories there if mod of a is greater than 1 then compression of the signal is going to happen if mod of a less than a 1 the signal is possible to expand see here i take for the one input that is x of t the x of t is i modified t equal to 2 time of t i should substitute here we modified then what will be happen for the your signal your signal is going to start for the minus 2 but it will be represented as a minus 1 what is that the signal it is going to compress how much compress is going to happen 2 time that is 2 t divided by 2 time is going to compress that is t of a is equal to consume letter then I need for the T, what is that? The letter in divided by A. That many times they need to compress. The 2 is there, that's why it came for the 1. So next side also 2, it came for the 1. The amplitude get, doesn't get to change. Now next case, what we are doing? We take for the T equal to T by 2. T equal to T by 2. Then what will be happen? 2 time is getting to increase. Okay. 2 time getting to increase for the signal. So minus 2 to it is going to shift 4. Then plus 2 to it should shift for the 4. So now u of a of t is equal to not possible to u of t. That means time scaling is not applicable for the unit state function. Next case time reversal. It is also possible to do for the time reversal. Time reversal in the sense left to right, right to left. So now you take for the signal is represented as a uh, triangular signal start for the 0 the maximum uh, depth is represented as a 2 then I need to change for the time scale so x of t into x of minus t the t is equal to minus of t I should write so that means it started for the origin it's shaped left side of up to 2 the signal is going to move this is called for the time reversal now x of t is a time reversal of the signal x of t then that x of t is equal to x of minus t next we go for the linear and non-linear system we take for the y of t linear and non-linear system in this sense superposition and the homogeneous principle we need to satisfy now generally what we are doing we are going to adding some coefficient we need to take for the Fourier transform. Finally, what will be going to that will be going to final decision of the signal. Now I get for the signal sample signal is y of t is equal to x square of t. The solution y1 of t is equal to t x1 of t as per the superposition principle is equal to x1 square of t. Next y2 of t is equal to t x2 of t is equal to x2 square of t. Now we need to adapt for the superposition as well as the homogeneity. What they going to superposition is represented as the algebraic sum of the system input signal. It's produced the algebraic sum of the output cases that we call for the linear system. Now, as for the linear system, y of t is equal to t x1 of t that will equal to x1 square of t. y2 of t is equal to t x2 t equal to x of 2 power of 2 t then finally we conclude that we do for the algebraic sum of the uh, Fourier transform of two signal with constant it's produce the output is individual system response output that's why we are going to study for the linear as well as a non-linear case now this case what will be happen these are the cases represented as a square but here the signal it's going to square a1 x1 of t plus a2 x2 of t whole square. So then we need to expand, then you can verify for the both the signal, both the signal is not possible to equal. That's why it's not a linear system, it's a non-linear system. Next, time variant and time invariant system. Due to time uh, changes, the system response is getting to change. It's represented as a time variant system. If not, the system is called for the time invariant system. Now, I take y of n comma t is equal to t of x of n minus t. Now, the n value is represented as a minus n. So, x equal to minus n minus of t we write. Next, we do for another case. 
as shifting of test output side in the time y of n minus of t is equal to x of minus n minus t is equal to x of minus n plus t we receive hence y n of t is not equal to y n uh, minus t hence the system is time variant system up to this much i am going to stop for the example as well as of signal analysis condition with relation between the two signals thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates